Cup champions, the Jersey Hitmen in game one. Josh Hankey, Josh, how you feeling after the win? Oh, Josh sticks away! Oh, what an We are here with a very special guest today, Mr. Danny Briere. Sir, can you give us a little background on yourself here and your background in the hockey world? Uh, my background, I've had a, a couple years uh, playing professionally. I've uh, been uh, lucky enough to, uh, to have a long career in, uh, in the NHL. Now, uh, now I have uh, probably the, the second best career is following uh, kids around, my kids, and, and uh, trying to help out in, uh, in the youth development of, uh, of hockey players. So that's a big, a big thrill as well. And now you can see it. We always talk about hockey players, the most modest guys in the game. This is a guy who's modest. And you have a son. A very incredible son on the ice, a guy who's playing in the Young Guns All-Star game today. Talk a little bit about his development with the organization he's with and uh, what you are doing with him, what the organization is doing in the USPHL to make him a better player every day. Well, he plays for, uh, for Team Comcast and, uh, you know, the league has been tremendous helping uh, all the young guys, a lot of good young hockey players. It's been uh, really cool to see. Um, I've enjoyed it a lot. and. Um, you now talking about my son uh, personally, uh, the improvement that I've seen in, in him as a hockey player and as a person this year has, has been great as well. So um, a, a lot of props goes to the US, USHL for that and Team Comcast. Now the final question for you as everyone takes the ice, you know, you talk about improving as a person. You know, we're developing not just the athlete but the person at this level. Talk about where your son wants to go after he plays. Uh, my son, or you, it, son. where does he want to end up after he plays? Where do you? They'd love to play college hockey somewhere. Um, you know, like like most of the hockey players here. Um, but you know, it's been so competitive. Hockey has been so good. You, we see all the, the good young hockey players behind us. Um, it's very very competitive. Um, as long as they have fun, that's what I keep telling them: have fun, play hard, and, and the rest will follow suit. Mr. Danny Barrier, thank you so much, guys. Someone with. A, a small amount of professional experience came down to talk to us today and to see his son play. His son's had an incredible season so far, and more from him, I'm sure. Thanks so much, and Thanks so from much. Dan Kay, we've had a great time. We're at the Volpe Athletic Complex with Mr. Brendan Sheehy of TSR. How are you doing today, sir? I am good, Dan. Thank you for asking. Uh, excited to be here. Great event. We have the uh, USPHL All-Star Game. Uh, extremely happy that we could partner together with each other and, and see some great hockey, too. And you say partner, let's talk about that partnership. TSR and the USPHL doing some great things. Can you talk a little bit about the relationship between the two? Yeah, uh, we well, we just we started talking a couple weeks ago in regards to the All Star Game and maybe TSR partnering up with the um, to being a partner with the All Star Game. We see this is just the tip of the iceberg of things that what can happen between uh, TSR and the league. Um, and we look forward to an exciting future together. And you know, the future. What are things like? You think of in, in a partnership with a league. What are what are some of the positives that come with a partnership that like the USPHL and TSO? Uh, well, we have you know some of the best service around, so we could we could really help with the league and some of their team deals that they have, um, getting the teams to look as good as they possibly can. And then you know we got some of the finest athletes out here today. Uh, TSR with what we do fitting hockey equipment and fitting skates, we really think we could uh, you know help the kids out there perform at their very best. Now, you talk about all the things you're doing, the performing at their very best. Someone that performs at their very best in each one of these games, winning the MVP award, you're out there presenting them with some things, right? Yes, sir. Yeah. Now, what, uh, what are those things? So, yeah, uh, as players' gifts uh, this year, we have, a nice, we have a nice backpack that we had made for them, uh, uh, some t a TSR gift certificate, and some TSR hats for the guys. You know. Sounds incredible. Now, the young hockey player. Why should they like TSR? You know, we're all, all about hip, all about the yep. swag nowadays, all about the things they can have. Why is it so important to have your TSR gear? Uh, the, the proper fit. I mean, for these kids to be performing, they want to get to the next level. The USPHL is a great league to develop these kids to the next level. You can't get there with bad equipment, uh, with misfit equipment. We can get these guys fit uh, perfectly so they can perform at the top of their game and have a better game out there to watch. We see some of the other, you know, some other places that they go to, they don't really get that fit and performance. The same hard work they put in out on the ice, we put in fitting the gear and make sure that they're all right, they're all fit up right. And you know, that's the best equipment 
for some of the best players in junior hockey out here on the ice today. And it's, it's a great partnership, a great all-star game. I hope you're having fun. I'm having fun talking to you, getting to know you. I'm having a blast. I enjoy getting to know you, watching the games with you. Uh, the whole staff here at the USPHL has been fantastic. We look forward to working with the USPHL and, and you uh, for quite some time, for some years to come. Like I said, this is just the tip of the iceberg, and we look forward to uh, really growing this partnership. Folks, Brendan Sheehy from TSR, a great start of a budding new relationship in the hockey world. Big things coming from both TSR and the USPHL. we got to get in there and uh, present some awards to an yeah. MVP. Let's go. Let's go. Thank you, brother. <laughs> Thank you. That was great. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope everyone had a great time watching some 16U Young Guns. Little technical difficulty. I can hear me now. Can you hear me, ladies and gentlemen? I hope you had a great time with the Young Guns 16U All-Star Game. Dan K of the Dan K Show here to announce the MVP from Team Comcast. Mr. Kyle Peters. Where's my man Kyle? Stay over me here. We're going to have a little presentation with Kyle. I'm going to get some questions with him. We're going to talk to you first, Kyle, and then we're going to bring you over there. Kyle, how are you feeling after a big win for your squad today? Feeling good. Feeling good? A man of few words, folks, but we're going to get more out of him right here on the ice. Kyle, what, what really went through? You know, you've got a whole band of brothers here new teammates for the day. How do you get together as a team and, and pull out a big victory in a shootout W? Uh, it's all about the hard work and we're all messing around the locker room having fun and that's what helps. Messing around in the locker room having fun. You always know the 16U level because the guys know how to keep it light. Kyle, going forward from here, where do you, where do you want to go with your future in the USPHL? I want to go far away. He wants to go as far as he can. Folks, I think we're going to have a little something for Kyle to skate over to here. Kyle, one last thing from me. How good is a victory feel? Amazing. It feels amazing once again. Man, a few words. We're going to have you skate over to the representative from TSR and Mr. Rick Brugato of the USPHL. Congratulations, Kyle. Presenting the award to Kyle. From TSR, it's Brendan Sheehy. <laughs> Folks, while well, pictures are taken, we would just like to congratulate all of our young brothers and 16 new all stars. Let's hear it for everyone who's like the people. They're making us a new album right now, but we don't care. Everyone who got to come out to the audience and watch this game today. I had a great time watching. I hope you have. Gentlemen, you are the future of the hockey world. We're happy to have you here. And enjoy the rest of your day, folks. Here in the morning on Harvard College. On behalf of the United States Career Hockey League, we thank you for coming out to play this game. Drive home safely. And we look forward to seeing you soon. All right, I'm here with Joe Duzak, playing for the, the All-Star game today. Now, how are you feeling taking warm-ups out on the ice? Uh, feels good. Uh, just getting loose out here right now. All right, you guys work on anything maybe do during the game today? Any kind of things you've been working on to try to get some uh, some teamwork action? Uh, yeah, uh, coach is going to talk to us in the locker room, maybe put a, implement a little system for us. But other than that, uh, just show your skill and just have fun out there. Last question, how excited are you to be on the ice today? Uh, it's a blast. Uh, just being in the locker room with all, all these players is really fun. Uh, we were joking around before. Uh, a lot of jokes cracked, so it should be a good time. Thanks, Joe. Thanks. Dan Kemchek here from the Dan K Show down on ice level. It's All-Star Monday, and I'm here with an All-Star himself, Jack Kilty of the Boston Junior Bruins, one of the top squads in playoff contention. Do you, do you really kind of get a chance to let some steam off here in an All-Star game in the middle of a tough playoff race? Yeah, you know, hopefully um, well, we got like six kids here, so, you know, it's probably just a nice way to – Meet some other kids on the other teams, you know, um, get to know them a little bit. But then, like, right after this game, you know, it's back to business. So, it. And we talk about getting to business. You know, a lot of scouts still here with the All-Star Game festivities going on. And these are the types of players, the types of talent you're going to play against every day at the next level. What does this do for shaping you for the college game? Um, you know, everyone out here is an All-Star, so it's going to be a nice, high-paced game. Um, you know, maybe 
maybe some big hits, who knows, but yeah, it definitely gets you prepared for uh, what's coming next in the future. Now, how do you grab a win in a game like this with a lot of skill players? You know, it's different than a regular game. There's not as many grinders. You're going to face a lot of skill. How do you beat skill? Um, just get the pucks on net, crash the net, see what happens. Good luck today, Jack. Thank you. Great job, man. Thank you. We're here with resident muscle man, John Picking, apparently. John, put a little goal in there towards the end of that period, up 7-4. How's Team National feeling right now? I think we're feeling pretty good. Feeling pretty say? good. Yeah. What do you guys say about that? What do we say about that? John, John's flexing for the camera, but I want to know, how's this team going to flex their muscles? You know, you're up three, but we all know all-star games get high scoring. How do you hold off the pursuit of Team American? Just, uh, you know, pick the physical aspect up. Got to take bodies, and I think our team's willing to do that. You're ripe for the picking. John picking, that is. Come on, you got to use the name the correct way. John, how many goals are you putting up in that third period yourself? How many goals are you putting up? One. We had eight from the back. He wants one. Can we get him eight? Can you get eight? I think so. You know, I'll I'm playing this much. If you, get, plenty, so. if you get eight, it will be the greatest moment in USPHL history. John, we're going to move on. We're going to talk to uh, some of the other teammates here mid-intermission. Thank you. Hickory dickory dockery, folks. We're here with the dockeries. And the, oh, come on, guys. They love it in Team Nationals both here. We're going to start. Introduce yourselves, dockeries. Let's figure out which dockery you are. Uh, the better one, Dom. Dom Dockery. That means this one is TJ. TJ, do you think you're the better Dockery? I have two points today, so yeah. Ooh, bringing up the points. I mean, some good points there on his end. Oh, yeah. Two of them. Let's move into this. Dom, what's it like playing in a league with your brother? Not just playing in a league with him, playing on a team with him, and being able to play on an all-star team with him? Um, it's a lot like playing with a second dad because, you know, practices, he's always waking me up. Uh, like, makes brings me up a cup of coffee every morning. Yeah, yeah. So it's pretty. I have a pretty nice there. And early in the year, whenever I'd make a bad play, he'd just start on the bench, <laughs> like I like I don't know what I'm doing. But for the most part, for the most part, it's uh it's really nice. I I wouldn't trade it for the world. He's uh he's a great hockey player, and I'm very thankful for it. And you gotta love it. It starts off with the fun about you know poking at each other with the brothers, but then all of a sudden they're friends. Yeah. Now you seem to be the wild card of the brother group. Is that would that be correct? Uh, yeah. Do you yeah. have any fun stories from you guys playing together? You know, brothers always messing with each other. You guys, have you guys have you guys pulled any pranks on each other? Anything fun that's gone on? Uh, yeah. We moved into a new house a couple of years ago, and we were like, you know, young young in high school, and decided yeah. to uh, play mini sticks in one of the new rooms. And Dom got mad at me, and uh, you know, whipped a mini stick at me, and completely <laughs> missed. And it about you know, went about. Eight, 11 inches into the into the wall it's just sitting now there's a big hole there so that wasn't <laughs> mom, no, no it got fixed mom wasn't too happy but it got fixed so you know, it's all fun and games well you know what something mom is happy about I, I think you both have commitments now yes. is that correct can yeah. tj let's start with you where have you committed to to play hot uh, i committed to uh, norwich university a couple days ago let's hear it guys let's hear it guys this is what it's all about Norwich University, you know, I played a little baseball against Norwich University, a great university, a beautiful campus, a great rink. How excited are you to get up there? I'm, I'm ecstatic. It's, uh, you know, it's fun. It's in the middle of nowhere, but everyone up there loves, uh, they love hockey, and, and they, they, they bring it every single day, and I'm excited to go. I'm telling you, it is up there. It is out there. I, I've been on a bus to it. it is, it's tough to get to, but it is an amazing rink, folks. It is state-of-the-art facility. You're going to love it up there. Dom, let's talk to you. Let's hear about this commitment, too. Um, committed to play at Merrimack College uh, for the 2017 year, and it's, uh, it's a great, great campus. Uh, when I uh, came here for my visit, I loved the atmosphere. The all the guys were great, and the locker room is the locker room is very nice. So I'm very excited for it. And this guy's getting to play on the ice that'll be his home ice next year. Very excited for you guys, guys. I've had a fun time, but you're up right now, seven four, going into the third. Yeah. The Dockery brothers, who puts up more points in the third period? I'm just going to set it in cruise control and, you know, maybe get a couple of shifts, not get hurt, and have tomorrow off. You just said probably him. I don't like that. You know, bring the confidence. I bring the confidence. If you're going to wear a bow tie like this, you bring the confidence. Team Nationals winning. I wore an American bow tie because I could go either way with this one. I'm going to say it's a Team National bow tie. Let's go uh, Team National, right, folks? Oh, yeah. Let's bring it to the third period. <laughs> Sir, introduce yourself right here. Scott Harlow from uh, South Shore Kings. We've got Scott Harlow, coach of the South Shore Kings. Coach, playing an all-star game, from the coach's perspective, 
How does the game differ from a regular game out there on the ice? I just think it's great to see all the, you know, like the kids that, you know, every game for the whole year, or honestly, okay, try to beat each other up, you know, to play together, okay, become friends, and obviously, okay, talk to each other, okay, high-five each other, you know. I think, okay, that's the fun part for me, okay, seeing them just obviously, okay, come together as a team for one day. Now, Coach, talk about coming together for one day, right, as a team. You talk about getting to know each other, being friendly with teams you're playing against. Talk about the talent these guys are going to play against at the next level. How does this prepare them for it? Well, I mean, I think, obviously, you know, like the speed is the biggest thing, okay? You can see that the speed of the game here is uh, twice as fast as a lot of the games in our league. And, you know, like to play at the next level, obviously, okay, things get a lot faster. And I think this, okay, really, you know, prepares these kids as to what they have to do at the next level, okay, how fast they have to move, Okay, they have to transition the puck faster. Okay, they can't be slow at the next level. Exactly, and you know, as we say that, you see another goal from your squad here. From a coach's perspective, what are you doing to really get this team going? Are you just throwing these guys out there on the ice and letting them mix it up? Is, this, is there something you're doing here to bring this offensive success to the table? Well, if anyone asks me what I'm doing, yeah, I'm coaching, but <laughs> honestly, I'm really not. I'm just changing the lines, okay, just making sure everyone okay plays the same amount of time. Coach, thank you so much for taking the time. We're here on the ice, 8-4 to four lead. Go much. get a W. Dan K. back down on ice level. We just got done with Team Nationals coach Scott Harlow. Now with Mr. Sean Tremblay of the Islanders Hockey Club. Coach, down by four right now in the third period. What's the strategy to get back into this one? Well, certainly we're just going to push the pace. D have got to really jump up every single rush right now, and forwards can't cover for them. So, unfortunately, we got to really turn it into a real all-star game yes. and, and not the play that I'd probably like our team to play, but... It is what it is, you know. Getting everybody involved, all hands on deck now, is going to be the motto. Coach, we're talking about the talent over on the other side with Scott Harlow on the ice. How does a game like this prepare these players for the next level? I don't know if it really prepares them for the next level as much as it's just a great honor for these guys to be here. You know, and we're, we're, it is a true all-star game. We're really showing off our best players in our league, you know, so every one of them should be proud to even be here. Yes. Yes. Now, Coach, you were behind the scenes doing so much to put this day together. What does this day mean to you, and what does this day mean to a player? I, I know a lot of your players are here. What does it mean to these guys? Well, I, I know for me, you know, it's, a, it's a way to honor them. You know, and they mean so much to our league. I mean, they are our league. You know, as much as we have great coaches and great ownership in our league, it's all about the players at the end of the day. You know, and this day's for them. You know, so for all the, the hard work behind the scenes, it's all worth it for these guys and to see them have fun and put a smile on their face and, and show to their future bosses what they can bring to the table for next year. That's it. We have plenty of those future bosses in the building today, and this guy did a lot of work. You saw him running around. He really put his effort into it, and like us here with the USPHL, not a lot of sleeping. There's a shot on net. Doesn't go. I thought it might go. I almost got some play-by-play -play there. Always ready for a goal call. But once again, Dan Kay with head coach of the Islanders Hockey Club, Sean Tremblay. From the bench, Dan Kay from the Dan Kay Show here right after a big-time team national win. And I think spearheading this national win was uh, the South Shore Kings, most of all, Mr. Michael Booth. Michael, walk oh, yeah. us through that game today. How do you feel after an MVP award? I'm um, pretty good. You know, it's honestly, yeah, thanks. Um, it's not just me, honestly. It's, you know, my teammates around here, too. It helped it happen. So um, it's a good team win today. He talks about a team win. Apparently, multiple media members here interviewing. We have multiple mics on the ice, only one functioning, though. So I'll continue to talk. Now, Michael, talk about being able to play with this many of your teammates and just the season you guys are putting together with the South Shore Kings. Yeah, obviously it's good to you know, have some familiarity out there I'm on the ice, so it helps with uh, teamwork. Um, but, you know, yeah, it was good overall today. You excited about getting some TSR swag with the win? <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. Who doesn't love swag? Gentlemen. You know, we're progressing towards the playoffs now, right? The All-Star game ends. Now it's back to business. How do the South Shore Kings move up the standings here, get a nice little home playoff series in the first round, and make their way towards the Cup? Anybody want to feel that? Yeah. Uh, you know, we're, we're, on a, uh, we're on quite of a win streak right now, so I yeah. think if we keep that going and just get as many points possible that we just put ourselves in the position to be a, you know, successful towards the end of the season, I think that's what we need. Now i got a question for someone here. A guy who I've called such a good goaltender, they've named an entire town after him, Teddy Lobero, the whole Lobero, Mr. Lobero, the town himself in net. Now, you cover the space of an entire town, right? 
How's the se- how have you had so much success this season in net? One of the top goaltenders in the league statistically. Uh, probably just the defense, honestly. I mean, they, they make it real easy for me. You know, there's easy shots, and you know, I think we've had a great year. Uh, let's keep it up. I just the modesty on this Kings team. I imagine once the cameras go off, they'll start razzing each other. But gentlemen, I wish you the best of luck, and I hope to hear see you uh, back in Massachusetts yeah. for a little uh, Deneen Cup final action, eh? Hey, once again, Dan Kay from the ice. Michael Booth, your TSR player of the game. And Team National, the winners. Woo! Nine to four. We'll all point at you. We're going to point at you. I hope you had fun. <laughs> We're here with the owner of the Rochester Junior Americans and two Junior American All-Stars. Let's start with you, sir. What, what's it like as an owner of a team? You know, you put all the work into a season. You put all the work into developing young talent. And what's it like to have two of your guys representing you here at such a big event? Well, it's great to see them here, and it's actually great to see them standing up on their feet the whole game. So I was very, very impressed that they were stopping and starting, getting up and down, and uh, that made it a lot of fun. Now, you know, it's got to be different playing against this much talent on the ice because you're always playing talent, right? But this is a lot of skilled players. How do you handle that on your side of the ice skating around here? Well, skating around, it makes it a lot easier, you know. Tapes, uh, passes are on the tape usually, and uh, it just makes the game more fluid. All around, everyone has a better game. Now, sir, I know, I know. Where are you from again? Is it is this France? Yeah, I'm from France, the Alps in France. He's, he's from the Alps in France. Now, uh, I, I don't parlay vu much, but I just want to know, uh, ça va? Ça va très bien. Ah, oh, très bien. He's had a good day. I've had a good day. They but actually both speak French. They both speak yeah, French? He's from, he's from Quebec, so they both speak Oh, French. Quebec. Now, a little poutine. How much do you like poutine? Love poutine. Got to stay away from it, though. Do you, do you guys eat poutine in the Alps? Uh, not really. Not we have really. Teas, but not poutine. Not poutine. Now, let's talk about from your angle, right? Being from France, what's it been like living here, living in Rochester, playing for, for such a wonderful organization like the Rochester Junior Americans? Uh, so far, I'm just having a great, great experience. It's just so much fun with my teammates. Everybody has the same goal to go to college. It's a lot of fun. Really good hockey, better than France, so it's perfect for me. I love it. Do you need an interpreter? I don't need an interpreter. We, we totally understand. You know, that's what we do here. You can tell these guys are very comfortable with one another, having a great time. That's what the USPHL really preaches here. It's a family atmosphere. Absolutely. We put together such a great atmosphere. Everybody gets to know each other. You got a, someone from Quebec meeting someone from the Alps in France. It's the, the camaraderie we build here. Now, let's, let's finish it here. The selling point, you know. And with the Rochester Junior Marriage, with any team in junior hockey, you're always trying to sell the next player. You're trying to get him here. You know, you're trying to show him the experience you can provide. What kind of experience are you guys providing with the Rochester Junior American? Well, we just try to get everybody to listen to you and watch your show. And so the more people that are watching the show, that's our recruiting tool. And the more people that are watching and are a part of the social media, then things are good for us. So what we try to do, we try to drive social media. And just to let you know, over 53,000 hits on the website in one day for the All-Star Selection Show, folks. There's some big things happening in USPHL. I down. I don't. Wait till you see these guys on there and watch it go down to 35 real quick. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna try to. We're gonna have to put them on there. We'll see what happens. I'll let you guys know the statistics. But gentlemen, congratulations on being in the All Star game, and I really wish you the best of luck the rest of the way. Thanks for having us on. Thank Appreciate you guys. It.